Hey everybody, it's Curtis with Everything Ham Radio. Today we are going to be reviewing a technician class study guide program that is available for iOS and for Android devices. But before we get into that, uh, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, click on the bell icon so you don't miss anything, uh, check out the blog at everythinghamradio.com, and of course our Facebook and Twitter accounts as well, Instagram, all that good stuff. Um, I try to do a review video every Friday with uh, other videos scattered about through the week. Typically the first part of the week, maybe Monday or Tuesday. But anyways, let's get on into the review for today. Yeah, so we are going to be talking about the app called Ham Radio Exam, and this is the technician level. Uh, this app is available for both iOS and for Android devices. Now this app is a basically just a uh, review question app. Um, it will do several things. We're going to go through a whole bunch of them. Um, and so let's kind of read a little bit here. It says, uh, "Ham Radio Exam Tech will help the user pass his or her examination for a technician class FCC amateur radio license." Uh, newly updated to include the question pool for exams uh, taken after July 1st, 2018. This app has 67 reviews on iTunes with a 4.8 star rating. Um, it's done by Roy Wilson, of course, or not of course, but it's done by Roy Wilson. This is what the app actually looks like when you download it. It has a little pencil there and a little Scantron test uh, thing. I hate them things. Uh, so when we open up the app, this is what it looks like. This is the main screen. Uh, of course, done by Ron Wilson, November 1, Zulu Tango, Lima. First off, let's go into the settings. Uh, the settings basically is just a place where you can clear the data. Uh, once you take several tests, if you want to clear it, you can go in there and clear it off. Um, next up, let's look at the web stuff here. Uh, so you can find an exam, uh, news from the ARRL and uh, for check your license status. Uh, you can go in there and, and see if you can locate if your license has been made yet. So first off is the about page. Uh, again, the developer here is Roy, Wil uh, Roy Watson. Sorry about that. It's November 1, Zulu Tango Lima. Um, it has the name of the app, the version number, um, the question pool information there on when it's good for and stuff like that. Uh, so next up we have the uh, study correct answers section that we're going to go into. And when you tap on this it's going to give you a list of all of the uh, sections in the technician class. So like uh, the T1D, authorized and prohibited transmissions, has 11 questions. Um, we have the T1E, control operator and control types, 11 questions. And you can scroll down through the list here and see all of the uh, different sections and how many questions there are. Um, the test is made up of uh, you know, one or two questions from each of these sections, so you have to you know, basically study all of them. Um, so here, let's, let's scroll down a little bit and um, see what else we have. So we have uh, stuff like um, the T6C circuit designs, uh, T7D basic repair and testing, uh, T9A antennas, vertical and horizontal polarizations. And as you can see on the list on the right hand side, each section has the number of questions that it has. And like I said before, the test is made up of uh, you know one or two questions out of each section. So let's go on back up here to the top again and um, take a look at uh, the first section here, the T1A uh, amateur radio. So the first question, you'll notice it has the question number in the top left corner, the T1A01. Um, and then it has the question and then the four possible answers with the green one selected. And the green one is the correct answer. Um, you, I like this method of uh, studying, only reading the correct answer. This is actually the way that I uh, help teach this course. 
Um, you only want to read the correct answer. If you read all the answers, then you get confused. If you read just the correct answer, then when you see that question on a test, that, that question will pop. Um, as an administrator of a test, we're not allowed to change the wording of a question or a wording of an answer, but we can change the uh, order that they come in. So you tap on the, on the green one and it'll go on to the next one. And I'm just kind of going through uh, the questions on here real fast, just kind of tapping through uh, to show you what happens after you get to the end. So when you get to the end of it, um, it takes you back to the main menu and you can select another area. You can go on to the next one if you want. You can scroll down and do, say, T1E or whatever. But let's back out here to the main menu again and look at the next thing. So let's take a, a, ses a session quiz here. So we're going to tap on that. And let's select one of them. Let's just do T1A since we, since we just kind of ran through there real fast. So we tap on it, and it will take us again to the set of questions, but this time it doesn't have the green uh, selected. So this one, T1A03, what are the FCC rules regarding the use of phonetic al uh, alphabet of st for station identification in the amateur radio service? So we have A, it's prohibited, B, it's required when contacting with foreign stations, D, it's encouraged, or E, <laughs> okay. Uh, e is required when transmitting emergency message. Um, it's it's not prohibited. Uh, it's not required with foreign station, and it's not required for emergency message. It's not ever required, but it is encouraged. Um, it's real hard or it's real easy to get, um, say, a nine um, instead of a five or something along those lines. So when you tap on one, if you get the the wrong answer, it it puts it in red as you see here, and then once you get the correct answer, it changes it to green and it moves on to the next question so I kind of hurried through the, the first qu quiz there and as you can see just randomly punching numbers I got a 36 percent so I got four correct out of 11 and it'll also tell you which ones uh, you missed and how many attempts it took you to get the correct answer and I'll give you the question number as well as the question itself so let's back on out here again to uh, the main menu and let's take a practice exam. Now there's 35 questions on the technician class test um, and like I said th uh, there's one or two questions from each section uh, in the test. So you take your first, te you, you go into the test and you have your question here. It gives you the question number and it gives you the, the question and then it also gives you four uh, answers. Well, this time, whenever you tap on the wrong one, it doesn't uh, tell you that it's wrong uh, immediately. Um, it will move on to the next question. So as we go through here, you'll see I'm just kind of randomly selecting ones um, just so we can get on through it. Um, you know, question four here, uh, what is the name of the device? Question five, what is a good way uh, to guard against electrical shock? you know so on and so forth it's gonna gonna go through here real fast to get to the very end so hang on just one second here let me get through the end here all right so we're almost here to the very last question i've sped that up obviously um so i scored a 20 answered 7 out of 35 correct again it gives you the uh, question number that you got wrong and the question itself uh, so you can go back and maybe study it a little bit more. And, and as I scroll through here, you'll see which ones I got wrong. Of course, I was just guessing. Um, I hopefully would do a little bit better um, if I actually try to take it. So let's go back here to the main menu again and look at the stats. This is the very last option. You can go in and see um, your history of the quizzes that you took, what your percentage was correct on there. Uh, the sample exams will give you a list of all the exams that you took. And then the, the bottom one is the review section. Um, this will tell you how many times you missed this question um, during your quizzes and your test. So if there's one of them on there, you missed it once. If there's two or more, you missed it you know, multiple times. Um, and then the last section here is the recommended groups that you, that you, take a, you, know, that you practice on. Uh, the more tests you make, the more this data is going to be correct and uh, more or better uh, equipped to tell you which ones you need to study more. Alright, so I really like this program. Um, it's 
very simplistic, um, but also very functional. Um, it is a good, great way to, to study for your uh, technician general at, uh, extra licensing. There is a free version for all three of those uh, written by the same person. And again, it's available on iOS and Android devices. Um, very neat little program. Um, like I said already, I'm going to be doing review videos on study programs, um, ham radio related programs, um, over the, for the next probably two, three months or so on Fridays. Different apps that I found that are very helpful. Um, and probably at least in the month of March, I'll be doing technician or study guide material uh, app reviews. So make sure you tune in and subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon so you don't miss anything. And uh, check out our Facebook at facebook.com forward slash everything ham radio. I'm on Twitter at K5CLM, uh, Instagram at um, everything underscore ham radio, I believe is what it is. Just search for everything ham radio on uh, Instagram. And also check out the uh, companion blog post to this over at everythinghamradio.com. There will be a direct link in the show notes of, or in the uh, description below as well as a link to the iOS and Android um, app. So check it out. Let me know what you think about it. Um, I guess that's pretty much it, y'all. So uh, until next time, this is K5CLM73L.